Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is April 23rd, 2019, 516 p.m. And believe it or not, the Philippines, this is unbelievable, has been struck with another major earthquake, guys. A 6.4, this time to the southeast of uh, Milan, my, not Milan, uh, Manila, I believe it's called. Manila? Yes, Manila, uh, which is where... Um, was very close to the 6.4 quake we had yesterday. Just look at this article right here. Philippines struck by another powerful earthquake, this time a 6.4. A magnitude 6.4 earthquake struck the Philippines a day after an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.1. They were officially calling that quake yesterday a 6.1 that killed at least 16 people. Unbelievable. Manila, it's pronounced, I believe. So this is an April 23rd article. Uh, this is the New York Times. The Philippines was hit by a powerful earthquake on Tuesday afternoon. That is today, a day after the deadly tremor hit the north end of the country. The earthquake on Tuesday registered a magnitude of 6.4, guys. Not only that, but... We've also had a 6.0 in Fiji. I told you Fiji is an area that's going to start blowing up. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of big quakes down here underneath Australia, threatening New Zealand. Um, and then we had a 5.9. This was a 6.0. This was a 6.1 about five minutes ago, right before I started this video. Uh, this one right here is India. You can see right in the heart there. We're actually going to track this one and see exactly where this Philippines quake was. So I'm not getting any info on... Uh, dam well, I, no, I am getting info on damage. I'm not getting any info on updated um, casualties or anything of that nature. They're still cleaning up from the other quake, guys. So um, let's take a look at this area here. This is the first quake that hit just to the northwest of Manila. Manila. I can't get that right for the life of me. Maybe someone can help me. I'm sure you will. Uh, this one here, April 23rd, epicenter of the quake is right here to the northeast of Cebu City. So we'll look at that on Google Earth real quick. Uh, put in the coordinates. We'll just take a look at this area. Um, not far, guys, from exactly where this other quake was that took the lives of all these people we're just talking about. This one looking like it's not in as much of a populated area. Uh, more so, this is probably just a warning to the people about the ground they're standing on. I mean, two major earthquakes, back-to-back -back days, one a little bit more deep than the other. Uh, in, in fact, let's take a look at the exact quake and the the depth we're talking here. So we're at 54 kilometers. That's not too deep. That's deep, but not as deep as we want to see it. We want them deeper so they cause less surface damage, but at the same time, we know that often uh, deep, strong quakes can cause shallow, bigger quakes. So uh, we learned that along um, our earthquake studies. We covered this one, technically Canada here, very close to uh, Oregon and Washington, right off the coast here. Um, we need to keep an eye on this area, um, our set of steps here right off the coast, like literally off the coast of Washington, Oregon. Um, this one's up by Canada. We talked about this one yesterday while we were reporting uh, this one, the 6.1 uh, officially that hit here. It's no longer on the chart, but there you have it. Here's the 6.4. Down here is the now 6.0, which was a 6.1. 385 kilometers deep, guys. What does that mean? What does that tell you about the Fiji area? We may see some shallow big quakes in the near future that's also near New Zealand, which would lead more evidence to that uh, prediction of a possible tsunami in the New Zealand area sometime soon. So not trying to scare anyone. I'm just giving you the facts and the data that we are given. Um, not too much going on in the Alaskan area for once today. Um, if we go to significant quakes for the month, though, take a look at this. This might put something in perspective for a lot of people. All right. The last 30 days of significant earthquakes worldwide. Check this out. Look at these. In the last 30 days, every significant earthquake except for two and three have been on this part of the west coast of the U.S. Now, if you go to magnitude 4.5 and higher, check that out. You can just see they're all piling up right in this area. Fiji's getting hit a lot lately. This area of Papua New Guinea, all this area here above Australia. We have Japan getting smashed almost on a daily basis, and now we're dealing with the Philippines people getting hit hard and um, casualties involved. So when things start knocking down buildings and houses and destroying property, people start listening. Um, when you get quakes in the middle of nowhere, no one pays attention. So, I mean, that's, you know, classic 101. See, we just had this one recently. 
on the 18th, 6.5, right underneath Australia. So a lot of activity going on on these fault lines here, guys. I um, want to keep this one short, just getting the, the uh, word out there for you. I will have a weather update either later on tonight, if not tomorrow. Uh, we do have some stuff to handle today, uh, Caroline and I, so... Um, I should be back uh, later tonight, if not, like I said, then tomorrow. So, uh, But, yeah, that's the news for now, guys. These quakes are getting out of control, and um, that's about all I have to say about it. We had, and when was the 6.8? The 6.8 was on the uh, 12th of April. That was the 6.8 right here. So think about that. 6.8, 6.4, 6.3. 6.0, 6.2. What is going on in the southwest corner of our Pacific Ocean, guys? I don't know. You tell me. Everyone have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.